one and only Patricia Horio. Patricia is a long-term Wikimedian, founder of Wiki Athesra user group, and she is the current project manager. She has organized more than, wait for it, 100 editatonas in Spain. And her work focuses on knowledge justice, the gender gap, and human rights on Wikipedia. Please, let's give a warm welcome to Patricia Jorillo. Thank you, Rosia. Thank everybody to have me here. As a teenager, I was a big fan of the movie Labyrinth. I don't know if you remember it, or maybe you are all too young. <laughs> the main character, Sarah, also a teenager like me, felt that the world was against her. And every time uh, something didn't go her way, she expresses her frustration by saying, it's not fair. Without intending to, she finds herself immersed in an adventure that takes her to a magical world where she will have to overcome all kinds of challenges to reach the center of the labyrinth. As you can imagine, I felt very identified with her, fighting against the world and the frustration of not being understood. And I also used to say, it's not fair. Years later, when I discovered Wikipedia, I felt like I was entering a magical world, a virtual place of collective documentation where anyone from anywhere could contribute to the narration of past and present events. For the first time in history, civil society could have... How could I not be fascinated by this tool? Doesn't it seem revolutionary? Doesn't it still seem magical? It took me a few more years to discover that, that this magical world has a serious, serious problem. The lack of women editing content. If we are more than half the population, why are we less than 20% of those creating that narration of history? Where were we? Where are we? As I grew up, I began to notice things that I had previously gone unnoticed. I have worked a lot in event and conference production, and always, always with women. However, we were usually not where the spotlight shines, but behind the scenes. We make sure the event goes smoothly. Communication happens, guests arrive, and even that there is no shortage of water. Even production is one of those invisible jobs that despite being critical, does not get the recognition it deserves. The spotlight continues to shine on men in position of responsibility who get the photo, give interviews, and are credited as the architects of what happened. And in the Wikimedia movement, the same thing happens. It is women who organize events, create the meeting context for new editors, and facilitate spaces like this, the Wikiwomen Summit within Wikimania, ensuring our meeting and exchange of views. And many times, too many, performing this work as volunteers or under precarious conditions, taking hours away from our free time when we have it. As Sarah would say, it's not fair. As a journalist and a researcher, I have experienced how difficult it is to publish on certain topics related to women. For interviews or reports, focuses on the work of women professionals, it is sometimes not 
easy to access the protagonists. If they are in mixed groups, it is usually the men who speak. And if they are alone, there is, there is still reluctance to be visible for fear of being singled out or receiving unfair criticism. When it comes to topics that affect, that affect and matter to us, women's health, rights and freedoms legis legislation, the difficulty arises from questioning their importance. Haven't you heard that it only affects women? Only? We are more than half the world's population, but we still sit at the children's table. And our concerns are seen as women issues. And what happened in Wikipedia? <laughs> the same. When we edit on Wikipedia, we face more difficulties publishing articles about women or on topics that matter to us due to the lack of information and perceived relevance. The, bi the biographies of hundreds of footballers are not questioned, you know that, <laughs> but the biography of a botanist who has only um, published a reference book on plants in the 19th century is immediately marked for deletion. It's not relevance. Furthermore, it is harder for us to find time to edit because many of us are responsible for the house, dependents, childcare, and sustaining life. It's not fair. In 2015, I started the Wikisfera user group. And in 2024, almost 10 years later, we received financial support from the Wikimedia Foundation for the first time. We requested funds to make this project focus on gender, sustainable, and we can move away from precarity, contributing to a more diverse movement aligned with the 2030 goals. But we found that the metrics for gender groups are the same as for those creating content about heritage, trains, sports, flora fauna, even though information about women is harder to find and its relevant, relevance is constantly questioned. It's not fair. Moreover, in these funds, gender groups have to compete with more established chapters and groups whose boards are usually not gender balanced. Sometimes they don't have a single woman on their teams. And gender is not a concern beyond checking a box. But they are funded anyway, because funding by region is far simpler than funding according to Wikimedia 2030's explicit priorities. It's not fair. Let's go back to my teenage reference, the protagonist of Labyrinth, Sarah. Uh, she reaches the end of the movie after a process of ma maturation and discovers that all the problems she found were not arbitrary. They were caused by a fantastic character a king whom she had adored. It is useless to complain and shout, it's not fair. The king wants her to keep adoring him, offers rewards, and tries to convince her that although he sets the rules, she will be fine. However, Sarah rebels and realizes she must break that perverse system that makes it impossible to win the game. She knows that if she doesn't change the rules, she will remain subject to the king. And then she claims a phrase that ends that world and makes her take control. You have no power over me. I wish 
it was so easy for us to hit the game board and rearrange the elements. But our perverse system is the patriarchy. A lack of equity in our movement leads to the current situation where very few women are part of the volunteers creating content and even fewer are part of decision making spaces. But let's fantasize for a moment and imagine. Imagine a movement that offers women a space where they feel part of it, compatible with their life, care, and family. A supportive, non-extractive movement that helps volunteers thrive, feel safe, and happy participating. Imagine a place where these women not only participate, but lead and transform the movement with an apologetic feminist approaches, putting our needs and concerns at the center. Imagine that the words, you have no power over me, meant defining our own goals and claiming our equity agenda. However, this process of imagination often focuses on individual actions, on the efforts of each one of us, making us believe that meritocracy works and if you want, you can. But we all know that that is absolutely false. So what do we need? What we need beyond our individual imagination is a structural change, a change from the inside out, from the center of the Wikimedia labyrinth to our movement. This is important because if we do not change the structures, we will continue to have the same results. And this is possible if there is indeed a real commitment to closing the gender gap. How can we reach 50% of women editing and participating in the movement if we do not prioritize actions over words? And prioritizing means allocating resources and presence with critical mass in decision-making positions. Women can and should be present in this movement under these conditions. So, what do we need? We need that value event production in order to access in decision-making positions because edit counts is a male metric. It's not ours. Align grand metrics with the difficulties we face. An event with 10% participation of women is not the same as one with 100% of women. Link gender parity on boards to funding. Require a minimum but important percent of women in an organization to access resources. And last but not least, provide a specific and solid funding for gender groups. We should not compete within regional funding. That is the Wikimedia movement we could build together. Women support networks that strengthen us, building projects that highlight women's contribution in all spheres of knowledge, demanding and designing funding policies that not only promote equal opportunities, but celebrate equity as a pillar of our mission. Let's use together that you have no power over me against invisibility and against the actions of those who deny 
the existence of this bias that condition us and conditions the narration of history. Because together, there is no labyrinth we cannot get through. Together, we are more visible. Thanks. <laughs>